Hey guys, it's Celia and I'm back with another video. So today, obviously, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be using this purple hair paint wax, which is why I got on the purple shirt. But um, I believe these became like popular and were literally everywhere on Instagram and then YouTube, maybe about, I don't know, a year and a half, two years, I really don't even remember. It probably is more recent, I don't know. But um, yeah, I have used their blue hair paint wax. So I'll put that video down below. It came out really, really good. And then I've used their red and I did really like the red. Um, with the hair paint waxes, you can use them whether your hair is dyed or just regular like brown black whatever um of course it's obviously going to show up a lot better and like more bold and vibrant on lighter hair so since i do have you know majority of blonde hair i really am excited to see what it's gonna look like because i know it's gonna come out um you know nice and vibrant but like i said you can still put it on darker hair and it's still going to show this literally still has the packaging or the plastic on it because it's been sitting so um i'm excited to finally use it um instead of doing a wash and go because the last two times that i used hair paint wax i did a wash and go i want to try a twist out i think it's going to come out so 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 good so yeah so it smells like men's cologne in my opinion i remember it smelled like this so um this i did want to mention to you that this is from the brand hair paint wax so i'll try to put a link down below but there's so many different brands and people selling hair paint waxes so yeah i actually i have a towel because i already know i'm gonna need it when i'm you know trying to add products and add this i don't want to get pro i don't want to get the hair paint wax in my product so let me get my towel all right so it does say that this works like the best application if your hair is like damp i i guess like not too wet but also not too dry if i'm not mistaken is that what it says yeah it says damp hair so um i'm gonna dampen up my hair all right so the product i'm actually going to use is the camille rose Hello whipped butter gel y'all know this is one of my favorite products um it's just super softening gives amazing definition all that good stuff so i'm gonna apply a little bit of this and then i'm gonna apply the hair paint wax on top and then just twist it on up So now I'm going to add the wax, y'all. I don't want to get this all up in my nails and all that, but hey, I don't have a choice. Just rub it in like that. And I'm really only just going to focus this on my blonde hair. I don't really need to like put it all the way up. All right, you guys, so I think I've added a good amount to it and it looks so good. Oh my God, y'all. I got purple hair. I'm gonna get a brush, a different brush, just so that I can smooth it, twist it, and it won't like get mixed in with my regular brush. You like it, babe? Yeah, I like the hair. Yeah. 
Everybody's gonna like your hairstyle. Therapy. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> really? What you doing? What you doing, girls? I'm waiting on you. You take us so long, mommy. You take us so long. I want my snacks. Huh? Want your snacks, boo boo? All right, you guys. So my hair is completely twisted, and it is purple so i am excited to see what this is going to look like once i take it out um the hair paint wax is a little bit heavy i feel like my twist could be juicier but it's okay um as far as how much i used i think i used a lot more than i did the previous two times i've used a hair paint wax um i believe I would say I used probably a third of it. I know it probably looks like way more, but um, yeah, I probably used a third of it. So um, I probably could get two more uses out of this. Uh, these are pretty small containers. So unless your hair is just really, really short, you're not going to get a ton of uses, but I don't believe they're super expensive. So yeah. Alright you guys, so this is the next morning or next afternoon. Um, I did sit underneath my hooded dryer for, I would say, I, I'm not even going to say, I don't know. I sat underneath it though um, and then air dried the rest overnight and um, yeah, I didn't notice any type of residue come off so that's good. Only thing I can say is that my hair my twists are like kind of stiff so hopefully it softens up as i unravel but i'm going to fast forward through that part i'm gonna unravel separate it fluff it and then just come back and show you guys my results i'm loving i'm loving this color oh my god okay i'm excited so yeah just stay tuned Right, you guys so i am done separating my hair um my hands do have some purple residue on it and i do have purple flakes like on my legs mm, not really on my arms it mostly just fell onto my legs which i kind of was expecting because i did pack a lot of this on um so mm, am i really too mad about it no um but i'm gonna fluff it out and show y'all my results All right, you guys, so I am back. My hair has been unraveled, separated, fluffed. I even did my edge control uh, or my edges and I used the new Sweetie Edge Control. So a review on that will be up soon. So let me put these up now. 
But yeah, as far as my hair goes, my hair definitely, like the hardness, the stiffness went away once I just kind of stretched it and started to separate. So my hair does feel nice and soft now. As far as the flaking goes, I feel like the flakes was just because like I was separating it and just, you know, in my hair, um, when I like shake it or when I, I, tested it like this like with a section of hair um it's not really doing much so i feel like once you're just done separating it and all that like your hair should be fine um if you want to be on the safe side just try not to wear like black or white or something i don't know i definitely wouldn't wear white because i feel like if, if your hair is long it might rub up against it but whatever y'all i think this is super duper cute i love this purple oh my god um my hair is super defined i feel like since the where is it since the hair paint wax is a bit heavy like it elongated my curls a bit like this is just super duper cute so so yeah you guys i feel like that's all i really wanted to tell you um i already have a video showing how to rinse out hair paint wax so i'll put that video down below so you won't see me rinsing this out because i already have a video um but i think that's about it that is the end of this video you guys let me know what you think of my hair let me know don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, you guys. And um, I'm going to do a quick spin around and then I'll see you guys in my next video.